Hi everyone, welcome to your alchemy scope. You are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the energetic story that is encoded for this particular cycle. And to do that, we tap into the Sabian symbol that is encoded at the exact degree point of our sun moon conjunction, which is our new moon point, which naturally begins the new monthly cycle. And traditionally, new moons are understood to be, they're known to be reflective of, symbolic of a seeding time. It's the time of the dark moon and you seed anew and then there is fruition then at the full moon. So what is seeding us now? The symbol for 19 degrees Libra, the point of our new moon is a rabbi performing his duties, a beautiful symbol. You might find that you will, during this time frame, inherently have a desire, an impetus, a call to be more aligned with a matured, higher aspected self, to be a model of integrity and to perhaps teach that to others, but even if it's not teaching, to become an embodied model of what it's like to be a more evolved version of yourself. So this is an interesting symbol, certainly spiritually based, um, but also in the teaching realm. And teaching happens through various ways. Hi, Leo. Let's take a look at the I Ching hexagram that came forward to reflect your particular micro cycle, your particular energy theme over the course of this next month you received number 33 retreat and the two trigrams that make up this particular hexagram are sky above mountain below all worthy goals meet resistance of some kind when this happens a well-timed retreat is necessary in order to keep your energy high and persevere strategic retreat is not to be confused with escape or surrender Successful retreat can demand quick and nimble movement, taking up a new position before you are damaged severely by a current situation, for example. Sometimes it is necessary to slow down, let go, or move back temporarily in order to develop counter moves for the future. Attend to small details while allowing yourself time to contemplate the whole picture. Be creative, not all progress follows a straight line. Self-confidence is also essential. Small setbacks can easily become defeats if we allow ourselves to become mired in self-doubt or self-pity. In this way, success can be achieved. Waves of progress are, by their nature, short-lived. Learn to attune yourself to the up and down cycles of life. Sometimes if you want something, you must allow it to come to you. Don't fool yourself into thinking that you can quote-unquote fix any situation. Some things are bigger than you are. Hold your pride in check and you will be better prepared to find creative openings. Leo, welcome to your spreads for November. So I have already shuffled my, uh, my deck. This is my custom Siri 144 card deck that I made and used for my own purposes. And we will do what we typically do, and we will pull your Ascended Master, and then we're going to do something a little differently with the um, archetype cards, the Carolyn Miss archetype cards. So let's go ahead and pull. And as I'm pulling, um, I'll let you know a reminder. So when I'm shuffling, when I'm doing the session for every sign, um, 
what I'm asking is what event, circumstance, or situation is likely to be coming up for at least the majority of, um, in this case, Leo-centric people during this cycle? Let's see what's coming up for Leo. Okay. You know, it's interesting. The food card has come up several times during this cycle for several of the signs. So let me adjust these cards so that uh, I can see them better, and, and I will sh be showing you these as well close up. So let's pull these up a little bit here. Yeah, the food card, which is food, diet, but it's also nurturance. So that's interesting. So let's take a look. Leo, there's some choice about the future coming up that's feeling important for you. Something about your right path, what, what you want to have happen. But let's see what the dimensions are to this. It's definitely about your evolution. Something that's going to take you to a new level of yourself. There's a lesson with emotional affection. There's some depression with it. There's some darkness uh, in association with it. In regards to not surrendering. By the way, I'm going to turn these cards around. What this is, is when the reversals come up, Leo, in my in this synchronic spread they're not traditional reversals like with the tarot and even with the tarot it's uh you know that the reversals can mean different things it's either an exacerbation or it's a literal reversal of meaning but these are different when these reversals come up what it's doing is it's um guiding us to more information that wants to come out for each sector so let me show you what's coming up here. So there is some choice coming up for this, for at least uh, perhaps a majority of Leo-centric people. There is a choice to be made about your path, about what is the right path for you going forward. And you're, th this topic is feeling important for your future. So you might, some of you out there might be coming up on a crossroads, something that is requiring a decision to be made that will affect your future. You are in a state during the cycle of feeling spiritually, you're in movement, you're evolving, you feel you're evolving, you feel movement has been unfolding and is continuing to unfold and it very much seems like because of the spiritual stirring at play this is exacerbating you wanting to move into a right path for yourself now again this could have to do with diet and actual food intake however because of the rest of what this spread is bringing forward it looks like this has to do with your nurturance you know, what is the right path to bring you, to nurture you maximally? Um, you have some caution coming up. There's some, this is what it looks like, Leo. It looks like there's some decision that has to be made soon. And you're not sure. You're feeling a little hesitant because you're not sure. There's hesitancy, a caution because you're not super clear right now. So you have a lot of thoughts about what to do immediately, what to do next. And something feels eminent for some of you out there, or maybe for a lot of you out there, that it feels you have to make a decision and you're not clear. Before I move on to the emotional sector, what I'll tell you, Leo, is many, many, many people many people, I would say all of my clients, I would say myself, and I would say a lot of people that I know, are in spaces of non-clarity. And there's lots of reasons for that. There's likely to be a video that will emerge to explain. But essentially, 
a lot of there's a lot of energy that's been pulsing, flowing. We have been evolving. We have been purging. We have been moving forward. And there's a lot. It's like a dust storm. There's a lot of activity and there's a lot that's up in the air in our minds, in our emotional bodies, in our physical realities. And it is inherently causing confusion. But that's just the cycle. And what it's doing inherently, because nothing in nature happens without function, it's requiring us to be patient and to allow the mystery, to allow the confusion, to actually be in a space of not knowing. So... There's more to say on that, but that gives you a crux. Okay. There's something happening, Leo, for a lot of you out there with regards to emotional love, emotional affection. And it's a lesson for you now. You're going through something that feels... Something about the allowance of affection is kind of a dark lesson for you. It's a bit of a depressive lesson or current journey. It's a, it's a growth edge that at least a majority of you are going through right now. And this is in the emotional sector here. So you're wanting to evolve the level of affection that you show and that you receive and it's a, it's a lesson. It's depressing. You're needing to allow it. You're wanting more nurturance in your life, Leo. There's some decision that you need to make, and you know you need to make it, but you're cautious about it because you're not sure. You're not clear. You know, the path isn't, isn't highlighted. And you know there's some choice you need to make. There's some adjustment that a lot of you out there know you need to make in order to evolve the affection in your life, in order to evolve the nurturance in your life. It's important, and you feel it, this cycle. Okay, so let's take a look at the other cards, because that is inherently going to give us more information. All right, so Leo, perhaps for some of you, a very powerful cycle. So this is Carolyn Miss's archetype card deck. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to pull three cards. Oops. Now that one popped out. So I, let's put that one to the side. I'm going to pull three cards. Put that one up there. And I'm going to place them face down. And as I'm shuffling the Ascended Master card, I would like for you to tune in, hone your intuition, practice your intuition, hone into one of the cards, and that is going to be your primary maturation, your primary thing that wants to be evolved and matured within you during this cycle. All right. Poor Leo. Let's look at the cards. Leo. Okay, so let's actually, let me put this one up here, yeah? Okay, so there's our first card, Leo. Okay, second card for Leo. Beautiful. Okay, and third card for Leo. I don't know if you can hear that. There's some crows that are being very loud and boisterous outside. Okay. So, Leo, beautiful. So I can't wait to pull the one that popped out, too. What that is referring to is that's something that I think a lot of you, a majority of you, if not all of you, will be served by the one that popped out. Okay. So let's go ahead and, of course, this is um, Doreen Virtue's archetype card deck. And let's go ahead and see which master, excuse me, Ascended Master's deck. Doreen Virtue's Ascended Master's deck. And let's see which Ascended Master has a message for Leo. Priorities, sweet Leo. King Solomon. So if you have been tuning in for months now, you'll know 
that this card keeps coming up. It's come up during a lot of the mid-month scopes that I have for my patrons, and it's come up for many of the new moon cycle alchemy scopes that I have here on YouTube, that I have for everybody. So priorities, King Solomon. This is referring to taking yourself to task, getting done what you know you need to get done, and attending to all of the things that bring you joy. What projects, what things, what creative outlets bring you real, true, authentic soul joy? Attend to it. King Solomon is saying, attend to it. To get it done. Go to sleep later, wake up earlier, but get it done. You have things that the world needs. So anything that you've been putting off, Leo, this is saying it's time. Okay? So let's take a look. So let's pull up the one that uh, popped out. Interesting, Hermit popped out. This was the one that came up for all of you. And let me read it. So the lower frequency manifestation, Leo, of Hermit withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgments of others, refusing to help those in need. Interesting with this, yeah? Because this is about doing what you need to get done in order essentially to be of service. So withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgments of others refusing to help those in need. Keep in mind the affection story that came up in your spread. Okay. What wants to be evolved seeks solitude to focus intently on inner life and serves personal creativity. There is an artistic element here that's coming up. It's about attending to yourself spiritual. Now keep in mind, you had the evolution card that came up in your spiritual sector in the spread. So this is a time. If you're not inherently going with that flow, this is a time, uh, Leo, for you to attend to your spiritual life um, so that you can evolve. Yeah. So beggar came up. If you pick the far left card, beggar is the archetype quality set that wants to be matured within you this month from a place of dependence on others to the exclusion of effort to confronting empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakening the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. Growing your confidence, becoming the empowered co-creator that you are, stepping into that inherent natural role for you. Beautiful. If you pick the center card, you know, I have to tell you, Child Divine has come up now. I think this is the third time it's come up for the 12 signs for November scopes. So this is interesting. Child Divine, from a place, moving from a place of an inability to defend oneself against negative forces, moving to a place of evolution, which is innocence, purity, and redemption, suggests a special connection with the divine. Again, connecting to the divine, connecting spiritually. That's what's being asked. So if you pick this card, you're getting some double messages there for sure. Again, monk nun. Now this has also come up at least twice, if not three times during the course of these November scopes. So there are some common threads of, of quality set maturation that's asking to come forward. So if you selected this far right card, you received monk nun, and that's moving away from negative judgment of the physical world and excess piety to a place of selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit. Yet again, the spiritual dedication. Focusing on your inner life. Now keep in mind, Leo, that you received hermit, which is seeks solitude to focus intently on inner life, serves personal creativity. So it's focusing on your inner life to serve that kundalini energy, that spark of creative fire. 
very, very juicy for Leos this month. So let's move on and see what else we have for you. Leo, so let's move on to the final component of your alchemy scope this month. We come to the Dakini goddess, who I pull up to bring forward the embodiment for you. If you want to walk this month with least effort, what quality set are you to embody? You received number 55, white buffalo calf woman. Again, I'm reading this from Penny Slinger 64 Dakini Oracle. And I'm only this month reading the, her description and the Dakini transmission. If any of you out there would like to dive deeper into this Dakini and the uh, threads of meaning that she embodies, there's an online library and the link to that document is below. Or the link to the library is below and the document is in the library. 55, white buffalo calf woman, she brings the blessing of peace, the air of higher consciousness to earth through the fire of the pipe of peace. And her Dakini transmission, Leo, is this. This is my second coming. I am pregnant with the calf, I promised. Peace is broadcast in my smoke signals, seven golden hoops, and all mankind will prosper again in harmony with spirit. Let me read that again. This is my second coming. I am pregnant with the calf I promised. Peace is broadcast in my smoke signals, seven golden hoops and all mankind will prosper again in harmony with spirit. Leo, I wish you a beautiful month. I'll talk to you soon.